in this session we are going to use seaborn library which was built over matplotlib the difference between seaborn and matplotlib matplotlib is basically a base base um, uh, plot library but seaborn gives the beautification to your plots so let us start with so we are going to import seaborn library as sns this is a standard and then we have to set style to a white grid now other styles are dark green dark white and ticks so about these styles you can study further on the in the websites so basically white grid style we have chosen because it is good for the large sets of data so let me import and execute so for our study we are going to again make the use of market fact data so i'm reimporting and executing so these are the top five rows so now i'm going to plot a histogram and density plot so i'm going to tell the shipping cost as one of the column so let me see the output okay now you see the output here now on the x axis you can see the shipping cost and on the y axis you can see the so it means that if the shipping cost is lower you have more a number of records and if the shipping cost is higher you have less number of records so with this you can also uh, plot the bars with this so here we have the bars at each points so you can make the use of work function to get the bars so here we are plotting only few data that is why we have used column 150 we are selecting only 150 records for our plotting because when we use when you when we make the use of the plot it takes a lot of execution time so we usually it's not recommended to plot bar along with the density curve now if you want to let's plot sales uh, density so we can use the density function and hist i have made false so and another another one i made hist as a true so if you want to plot the bar make it true otherwise have it false so i am printing two two plots here so i have two plots so here in the second one your hist is true so that is why you can see the bars here and in the first one there is no bar because hist is false so again the thing which you can take uh, from this plot is that lower the sale the more is the volume of the uh, orders and higher the sale the less is the volume so let us now do the box plot that we have done, we have already done in the matplotlib so let's make the user c1 library to plot the box plot so here i'm making the use of column order quantity so here is the order quantity now the difference between the matplotlib and and the c1 plot is then the order quantity is printed on the y axis so basically the your values are on the x axis but if you remember in the matplotlib where we have plot we done the plotting for the sales data you can see the sales value was in the y axis now if you want to get in the x axis you can make the use of basically you have to specify y equal to market fact order quantity so this is on, on the so your order quantity is on the y axis okay let, let us now do a scatter plot in the previous uh, example we have made the use of scatter function in matplotlib now with the seaborn library we have this joint plot which is used for plotting the correlation uh, graph between the two columns so here we are taking an example of a sales and profit so let us see the output the output is almost similar that we have plotted last time now the additional along with this you can also see a bar chart here so from this you can say uh, you can conclude that if the sales are higher your profit are also higher but there are some few points where if the sales is higher your profit is lower so this is the other way to plot you can put the data frame here and the column name here
now let us reduce some data here just to have a better understanding okay i have reduced the data so i have filtered out the uh, market pack data where the profit is less than 10000 and your sales is less than 20000 so i have taken these record with this condition so my profit and sales data is like this so now i am going to use uh, some kind of uh, argument called the hex using the kind argument let us see the output here okay my output is almost like a hexagon so here you can play with the colors here if you know the color codings i have used the blue color now so this is the output let us reduce further now i am selecting those data where the profit is less than 100 and sales are less than 200 just to have a better understanding so i am replotting with kind argument as hex and color as c okay my output is now more readable here now here you can see that uh, if your sales are higher there are some point going down onward downwards you see the points are down so this is a profit which is a lower one 